Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I wanted to show you an, an affordable mat box uh, that I had a chance to use that actually is uh, surprisingly for its price actually comes with a lot of really cool features. So the mat box is from a company called Camtree. I've already reviewed uh, a few of their products. Like the, the one that I like the most is their uh, camera cage for the Panasonic GH4, which I, I use with me uh, you know, on, on all my shoots. Uh, and this is uh, again another one of these products that they came up with that uh, cost only $260 comes in this nice travel case you know keeps it protected and uh, inside it you know is basically everything that you need so the whole mat box is in here and what I like about it actually the first thing I'll tell you about it is that it's it's a full-size mat box but it actually manages to pack into this small case uh, even though it has you know full side and top flags on it which normally you know that if you have a full-size mat box, I mean, it's pretty much the width of this box. Uh, and then the top flag itself is gonna be much wider. Uh, well, what they came up with is a top flag, like the one you see here, that actually flips it. So that you can basically, you can, you know, it's a lot more compacted when you wanna put it away, which is really cool. So you just kind of flip it up like that and then you can put it in, in uh, on top of your mat box. It also comes with side flags, so you can you know, uh, stop the light from spilling from the side. And here inside the case is the actual mat box. And so you probably notice it's made out of carbon fiber. So it means it's very strong, but very light, which is a, a, always a great thing. So here's the mat box itself. Uh, like I said, it's carbon fiber, so it, it is very strong, uh, but yet very light. Uh, which I like a lot. Also, I just like actually the look of it, the look of the carbon fiber uh, myself. So that's a cool thing. Now it also has a uh, two-stage uh, filter holders. So uh, it has one filter holder uh, here on the front. They're both four by four uh, inches or 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter. Uh, and then it has another tray here for another filter that's rotatable. Uh, also, another thing that I really like about it is that it's a swing away mat pack. So uh, you have this little pin here, you pull that up and the mat box just basically swings away. So you can, you can swing it away uh, all the way to 180 degrees, which is really nice. Get it completely out of the way of your camera. Uh, you can you know, swap out the lens or do whatever it is that you have to do, clean the lens. And then when you're ready, you just basically pop it back in. Uh, and it's just, you know, makes working with the mat packs a lot faster when you, ha when you, when you can swing it away. Uh, it has a here attachment for 15 millimeter uh, rods, so it's going to work on most most cameras. Uh, since I think most cameras these days do use 15 millimeter rods, um, and like I said, you can attach the the flags here on the top and on the side. So let me do that right now. Uh, the side flags attach actually really fast because you just have one screw, so you just put it in there and tighten it, and that's it. And as you can see, you have an angle here that you can adjust. So depending on the angle of your top flag, that's how you do it. Uh, here's the same on the other side. And now I'm just going to attach the top flag. There you have it. There's the whole mat box. Plus, actually, comes in comes with one more thing, which is uh, this uh, uh, kind of a donut sock. I'm not even sure what you call it. I have, but basically what it is, it's like this little sleeve that you can put it here on the back of the uh, mat box. It kind of clips in there. And then you can put this around your lens and then you just basically tighten it with this little bungee cord. Uh, what this is good for is, for example, if you're using lenses that don't have the standard cinema you know, style uh, the diameter, basically that fits into the back of this lens, then you can use this. So even any, any basically DSLR lenses, any, any other lenses that you have out there uh, that are basically smaller than the opening, you can just put this around there and just tighten it and it will stop the light from basically entering through the back. And then, you know, that usually will create a problem, for example, if you have some glass filters in the front and that will reflect and create basically uh, like extra annoying, you know, reflections uh, on your filters. So it could definitely ruin your shot. So it's nice that, uh, that it comes with that. Um, and like I said, $260 for the whole mat packs, uh, you know, comes with the case. I, I had a chance actually to use this on uh, two films that I worked on. Uh, hasn't failed me yet and I also like it because it's pretty sturdy uh, and then also the whole uh, attachment here from the 15 millimeter rods to the swing away uh, arm uh, is actually it's uh, I think it's aluminum it's a light material but it's still very sturdy it's some kind of a metal material um, and it's very sturdy means the mat packs does not kind of jiggle on you and, or you know create any vibrations 
and uh, also you have uh, uh, up here these two screws that you can loosen so you can adjust the up and down position so depending on your lens whether you know your lenses are higher or lower you can center them perfectly uh, to the mud packs so yeah overall nice mud packs if you guys are looking for one uh, 260 dollars check the links in the description of this video or go to my website at tomantasfilms.com you guys will find more information over there uh, and uh, yeah just check it out and if you're interested just just get it uh, and also if you're interested in other filmmaking tutorials or uh, anything really filmmaking related you know c camera gear reviews and stuff like that uh, then on my website make sure you uh, subscribe to the newsletter and, and if you like this video also click uh, thumbs up and share it anyways thank you guys and i'll see you next time